No, I should do that. What's going on, guys? It's me, Jabba, and I'm coming to you guys with like a brand new video on this. Is this is one of my first videos, but one thing I wanted to show you guys, which I can't show you guys here, but I wanted to talk about how to be an effective teammate inside of Update 1.2. Yeah, this is just a regular challenge mode, so I felt like it was the best way to do this. Um, 1.2 is very... I don't know what the word is. I'd say it's harder. So, with that, you have to do certain things, as in, like, crowd control is a bigger deal. Whereas, with the other update, they had gear sets that allowed us to do most of the damage ourselves, and we were pretty independent. It made the game a lot more team-based now, and it's causing people to, like, you know, get kicked out of groups and not necessarily have the best teammates, and... It's causing you guys to have a harder time during the new incursion and stuff like that. So what the video is about today is basically about how to be a more effective teammate. Now, I'm going to go off in this corner over here and be a shitty teammate and not help them with the rest of this incursion, or this mission for a second. What I like to do is I like to run flashbang, I like to run pulse, and I also like to run defensive ult. Because the defensive ult, although people like to heal each other and revive each other really fast, the defensive ult is way better because, well, I wouldn't say it's better, but I'd say it's my more preferred because I like to make sure my whole squad cannot die at a certain point. Especially when shotgunners are charging you, because they're a motherfucker. Anyways, now we're going into this part where Pulse allows me to do more damage over time when I'm in those situations where I have to do by myself. Because I know, I don't know about you guys, but my GPS got lowered a lot. Therefore, it frustrates me and I feel like I needed to do something to help me out. Although I was running Pulse before that, just because I was trying to be cheap and Um, aside from that, this is my general stats. Okay. For, um... Right now, I'm a T22, and this is like most of the gear sets that I have set up, but they're not, I'm not saying that they're the best, you guys can take a look at it, but most of it's gear that's 240, and I don't even have my gear set set up to be perfect, but it does take you a lot of credits, and I do recommend you recalibrate your stuff to, make, to build the perfect build, because without it, most of your builds will be lowering your DPS to somewhere around 100k, and it's really hard to do challenge modes aside from that. Anyways, that being said, there's one more thing that I'd like to say is that using like each person on your team doesn't have to run a specific thing, but as you'll see here, the more you can disrupt a group, the more DPS you can put into this fire enemy. So I hope these tips helped you out guys. And if they did, you guys can leave a comment below. And if you didn't, then that sucks ass. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like it, leave a like on the video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.